Hey, it's Funk Roberts. I'm here with my warm-up. This is a great warm-up, a dynamic warm-up that you can do before all these exercises or before any exercise you want to do. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom and move our way up. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to do regular toe lifts, toe and heel lifts. So just rocking back and forth, keeping everything straight, breathing all the time, getting the lower legs or lower part of your legs, your ankles and your calves warmed up. Okay, you do that 10 times. Then we're going to try to get our balance, put your right foot up and you're going to do circles. So foot circles, you're going to do 10 foot circles clockwise and then 10 foot circles counterclockwise. The whole time what's happening here ladies is a dynamic warm up and you're, you're balancing on your both feet, balancing on both legs and you're also making sure that you know the ankles are getting all the crickles and crackles out of your ankles and they're all warmed up for all the different plyometrics, jumping or anything else that you're going to be doing today. The next exercise is what I call stirring the pot. What we're doing here is working the knees, warming up the knees. If any of you have any knee problems, this is a great exercise to, uh, to do on a daily basis. So you bring your knee up to a 90 degree angle, right, and then you start stirring the pot. Pretend there's a pot underneath you. And you're going to stir the pot one way for 10 rotations, and then you stir it the other way for 10 rotations. If you slip like I just did, that's okay. So you stir the pot the other way for 10 rotations. Try to keep your, your knee at a 90 degree angle, okay, you can stir, you'll feel it in the hips, you'll feel it in your knees, you'll feel it in your legs. But again, a great exercise that you can do every day, even if you don't, aren't, aren't working out, it's great for the knees. The next thing we want to do is we want to get our hips loose. So what I like to do is I like to do the full body circle. And I'm sure we've all done this when we were kids, but you want to start nice and slow. You want to be nice and loose too. Whenever you're warming up, you want to be loose. You want to be breathing. So we're going to do hip circles and we're not only going to go nice and narrow, but we're also going to make them bigger and bigger, stretching out the full body. You should feel that in your back. And then you start the other way. So nice and slow. Whatever you do one way, you always do the opposite. Or whatever you do on one side, you always do the other side. So those are the hip, hip circles. You want to do 10 one way, 10 the other way. Then what I like to do is I like to do side to side. So once again now, we're loosening up. We've loosened up the bottom parts of our body. We're loosening up the hips. And we're just moving side to side. One of the things you have to really focus on, ladies, is pivoting that back foot, right, and being nice and loose. Let the arms hang, breathe, exhale on the way on both sides, and just be nice and free and relaxed. Because what you want to do is you want to loosen everything up. You don't want to be like a robot, you want to be loose, okay? Now we need the upper body. We need to open up the chest. So what I like to call these, I like to call these swimming to the air. So you want to swim to the clouds. So you want to pretend that you're breaststroking all the way to the clouds. You want to Make sure you extend your arms up as high as you possibly can. Nice and your, make sure your knees are nice and soft. And you're just trying to go all the way up to the sky, exhaling every time you breathe. So it's every stroke you're exhaling. And then once you get to the sky, you gotta come back. So we backstroke, backstroke. So now we're loosening up the shoulders, we're loosening up the upper body, and we're backstroking our way down. So you wanna do 10, 10 breast strokes up, and then 10 back. So now your shoulders are loose. Maybe you want to just bounce up and down a bit. You want to get nice and loose. Shoulders are nice and loose. And now the neck, the upper body, the, the, sorry, the, the neck portion. So now what we want to do, ladies, is we're just going to turn side to side. Exhale, side to side. So chin, best way to do this is chin to your shoulders. Chin to the right shoulder, left shoulder. Chin to the right shoulder. Chin to the left shoulder. Chin to the right shoulder. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do ear to the shoulder. So bring your ear down, bring your ear down. So when you're doing this, you always want to do 10 per side. 10 per side to make sure that you're loosening everything up. Hold it for a second and then move to the other side. And then we, we've done the turns, we've done side to side, but now we've got to go back and forth. So tilt your head back, exhale, bring your head forward, chin to, the, to your front, to your chest back, forward. Again, you do 10, 10 reps, both back and forward, and you're ready to go. Now your body's loose, it's do a couple of jumps, and you're ready to work out.